Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetra Trouble Bench video series. This is Tim, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about chain breakers and the proper use to use a chain breaker when you're working with a chain and sprocket. Uh, now, when you uh, have a particular application and you want to use a chain and sprocket, usually it's uh, to the point you wanna actually um, remotely or, or transmit power from the motor to a different location. And a good way to do that is chain and sprocket, but you don't always know how long a chain that you need. And so that's where um, the chain breaker tool comes in place and the specialty links that you get with the chain to, to actually repair it once you've broken it. Um, when you get the Tetrix chain breaker from uh, Pitsco, there is a couple of things that you get, which is basically the body of the breaker. It does have um, a specialty um, bolt that it goes, threads into the end of it, and you get uh, an actual hex key that fits that. And it's a fairly simple process. This has got a, a very special groove that when the chain is put in place, it actually will accept that. Uh, let me kind of show you as that presses down and fits right in that groove and then what in essence happens is this becomes a press and as we thread this bolt down it actually is uh, meant to press the pin the holding pin and you see I've got uh, one kind of pushed out here of the link of the chain presses that out of position so it then allows you to take the chain apart now I'm gonna pull that back out just for a minute because I want to talk to you about the, um, the specialty link in order to put that back together you want to make sure that when you're you're breaking your chain, you break on the right link. There is definite difference in the chain. If you look, there is an inside portion of the link, and I'm going to try and hold that so you can see inside, and then there's an exterior portion. As you alternate those, that makes the chain. So you want to make sure, because of the specialty link, is basically forms this outside. You want to make sure that you break so that you have two insides that you can match up. So that means on this end, if I want to shorten this, I want to make sure that I push out on um, the uh, outside uh, link of that one. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully place this in, in my breaker, again, in the right position. And the other thing that is important is when you put this in place, you want to make sure that it's seated properly because if it's not in place properly, when I uh, um, tighten this pin down, it's not gonna line up properly with the pin on the chain. And if I don't have that lined up properly, when I continue to torque this down or, or tighten it into the block, if it can't go ahead and push through that, it will not um, break the chain, it'll actually break the breaker. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. And I should be able to, as I begin to turn that, feel that pin actually begin to press through and I can watch from this side the top and make sure that the pin is beginning to move out and I can see that it is and as I tighten that down I'm pushing that pin all the way out and I can kind of look and I tighten that down and when I get kind of to the end I should be able then to back that the rest of the way back out then I should be able to remove my chain. And as you can see, I push that pin out. And if I push it out far enough, and sometimes that is a little bit tricky, it should go ahead and separate. And I think I need to push that out just a little bit more. So I'm gonna put that back in place. Make sure I'm lined up, tighten that back down. You see if I've got it in place properly, I actually should be able to put that down almost finger tight. Get it through just a layer, there it went. Back that off. And you can see that you know I've got it that way because actually the chain came apart. So once I have my chain in the right length, and you can see I have two links that match up as far as the interior, I can take my specialty link 
and I'll hold this so you can see it carefully here. It's got two posts. It's got the exterior on that. So I can slip that through one side and the other side, just like that. I've got a matching kind of, for strength, exterior on that. And then I have a specialty clip that will actually just press on um, that those posts and actually hold that retaining um, piece in place. And I've, I've made a finished, uh, repaired chain of the proper length. Sometimes I'm not gonna try and do that now because you really kind of maybe need a pair of pliers. You can see I'm having trouble with my fingers. That's a small piece, um, but that will actually uh, pop on without too much problem. So that's kind of the proper use of the chain breaker tool to actually um, make a chain the right length and then put it back together after you've uh, shortened it. So again, tips to remember, make sure you line that up properly when you start that bolt in because you don't want to strip the, the threads out of your uh, breaker block. And then uh, just basically uh, make sure that you're pressing out the right side of the link so that you can match them back up and make um, your complete chain again. So hope you found that useful information. Hope that you'll go ahead and think of some cool ways that you can implement that on your robot. And then always remember, have fun out there. Come back and see us.